Hey everyone, Tech Gamer here. In this video, we're going to be attempting our first ever water landing in Microsoft Flight Simulator for the Xbox Series X. So stay tuned and let's do this. Okay, so here we are sitting at the runway at Chicago O'Hare Airport. And what we're going to do for this video is we're going to take off and head towards Chicago and then have a nice soft landing in Lake Michigan, hopefully. So the first thing we need to do here is turn off the parking brake. Now it's a little confusing to find on this plane. It's actually right there, a very strange layout. And um, we'll go ahead and throttle up and get on our way here. So the flaps are in the first position. And we are on our way here. Now this plane does not have a very high cruising speed and you have to watch for the engine overheating with running it at full throttle. As you can see on the main screen, we have a warning about the RPMs being too high. So we just gotta keep an eye on that. So we're going to go ahead and put the landing gear up. As you can see, the back gear goes in first, and then the front gear goes in, which essentially sets the floats in water-ready position. So our main objective here is we'll go ahead and bank over to the right here and head towards downtown Chicago. Just getting a feel for the plane here. Um, we'll probably have to go ahead and acknowledge this warning about the landing gear being in the landing position that should have went away when I took off because I put the, retracted the gear, but apparently not. So we'll look into that as we're flying here. So just going to fly head towards Chicago, which is straight ahead of us right next to Lake Michigan. And then we'll use the lake for our practice landing on the water. I've actually not done it before in this particular game, so it'll be a good test for me. So just checking that my gear is indeed up, which it is. I'm not sure why we're hearing that noise over and over. But oh, I'll figure that out. So we're just continuing along our path here. As you can see, our airspeed in knots is only 90. It's not a, the fastest plane in the world. So we're going to continue our travels here over to Chicago. I could have taken off from Midway or one of those a little closer to Lake Michigan, but I chose O'Hare just because I like to... Uh, get a better feel for the plane and how it works, especially since I've not flown this one before. So let's go ahead and put the gear down here and see why it's not um, clearing that alert that we have. And we will see if that fixes it. And it doesn't. So we'll put the gear back up. And continue on our way. So we'll go ahead and try and get this alert cleared here. Still, we're still getting it, as you can hear in the background. It usually this clears when you put the gear up, but apparently not on this particular plane. But that's okay. We can work through that. So just keeping an eye on my RPMs here. Bring the throttle up and down a little bit here. I don't want to push the plane too hard. So let's go ahead and see if we can get rid of this alarm here. There's, there's this uh, safety gear advisory thing. It, we'll just press A to acknowledge it. And that should stop the noise. And it did. 
That's strange. The gear's up. It should not have been making that noise, but that's okay. So continuing on. Chicago approach Cub Crafters Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra is type Cub Crafters CC 19 5 miles northeast of Midway 2300 feet. Request flight following. Cub Crafters Alpha Sierra X-ray Golf Sierra Chicago approach. Heading towards Chicago here. We're going to go past some iconic landmarks. Such as the Sears Tower. And then we'll touch down right in the Lake Michigan. Probably straight ahead. We'll th I think it'll be good. So I've never done this before in this particular game. We'll see how well this goes. It's, it's usually not very difficult. Flight Simulator X was not that hard to do. It was actually one of the easier things to do, short of avoiding boats and other items like that, which is the same in this game. Just checking, uh, giving a look around here. There's the moon. So this particular area does not have any cars on the freeway. It's funny, I've noticed in flying around some of the renderings, graphical renderings, some of the roads have cars, others don't. And you can see them a little bit on some of the roads, but not others. So that is kind of realistic. Um, you don't see any on the highways, and from 2,000 feet we should be able to see some vehicles. I see some now. So it seems to depend on just, I guess, that maybe the angle. So we're just going to keep uh, heading this way. We'll start to drop some altitude here. And we'll th go ahead and throttle down to come in for a nice soft landing in the lake here. I'm coming in pretty fast. I'm probably going to extend some flaps and cut the engine down to zero. Just leave it at idle. And we'll just do a nice drift in for a soft touchdown in the ocean so if you ever think you're coming in too fast what you can do is you can skip you can hit the water come up into the air come down and that'll slow you down too but you got to be careful because if you're coming in really too fast you'll break your floats and shows over but i think we're going to be okay for our speed we might bounce once or twice but we should be able to make to land this at the mega yacht back there are pretty nice. So we're down to about a thousand feet and coming in hot. Coming down at about 80 knots. And it's actually easier to see in this view. So we can see the water detail getting clear. And we're down. Ah, see, we bounced because we came in too fast. And we bounced a little bit that time. And. We're down. So I would recommend landing this plane in the water at about a little over 45 knots. Um, we came in way too fast. The red area on your airspeed indicator is probably a good representation of what you want your plane speed to be right above that spot when you land, just so that we don't bounce and need this much distance to stop. Because as you can see, we're at full flaps, the engine's at idle, and we're Continuing a good distance from our actual initial touchdown point, which on a shorter lake would be a problem. That's why I use this one as a good test. So thank you everyone for watching this video. There is a beautiful shot of the Chicago skyline. Please like the video and subscribe to the channel and we'll have more and exciting videos from Microsoft Flight Simulator for the Xbox Series X coming soon. Thanks everyone.